now that we have the base tape and the bottom tape and the top tape all made, what we're going to do is we're going to pull this tape off, just the base, or rather just the bottom and the top, leaving the base on there. Removing just the base, rather just the top. What we're going to do is we're going to place this tape onto the side of a table. What I have here is meter stick. We're going to place it onto the meter stick. But first, what I have done is I have taken tape and I place it onto my neck. I place it onto my neck so that way now this has a net charge of zero. It has Equal number protons, equal number electrons. So if it has five positive, that means it also has six negative. So five positive plus six, five minus five is zero. Or if it has six positive, that means it also has six negative. So six positive and a six negative still adds up to zero. So that means everything on here adds up to zero to where the net charge is zero. And I did that by grounding it onto my net. So when I ground it onto my neck, now this has a net charge of zero. I'm going to separate this. When I separate this, When I separate them, they're going to have a net charge still of zero. One will be a positive charge. One will be a negative charge. So what we have done is we now have on the right-hand side is top tape. On the left-hand side is bottom tape. One has five positive. The other has five negative. Or it could have 13 positive, And the other has 13 negative. All we've done is we've taken charge from one and we transferred it to the other. We know the transfer charge is the electrons. We know when I ripped the tape apart, then it took electrons from one to the other. So what I'm gonna do then as well is to make another top and bottom tape. So that's what I'm doing currently right now.
So what we're doing is we're making a top and bottom tape. And so what we've done so far is to now make a separate top and bottom tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take so what I'm going to do is now I've made another top and bottom tape. I've placed them on my neck. That has now created a net charge of zero. With a net charge of zero, I'm going to take these two tapes, separate them. When I separate them, one's going to have all the positive, not all the positive. It will have a net charge of a positive, and then the other one will have a net charge of a negative. So when I rip these apart, it's going to take some electrons, not all of them. And when it does that, the charge is going to transfer from one to the other. So if it has a net charge of uh, plus six, then the other is gonna have a net charge of a minus six. And so I know that this is a top tape, this is a paper, an aluminum foil, and this is a bottom tape. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm going to bring then this tape close to it. If I see that these go together, then there is an attractive force. If they go apart, then there's a repulsive force. So we're going to look to see how attractive, how repulsive they are with respect to one another. So I'm going to do this as an example, but first I'm going to leave this tape onto my neck to transfer the charge to my neck. I'm gonna to look to see on the paper. Does another piece of paper pull things to it or push things away? Is it attractive or is it repulsive? So when I bring this close to another paper, I don't see anything. When I bring it close to aluminum foil, I don't see anything. That's good because there should be no forces between the two. So with a paper and foil, foil and paper, there's no forces. There's no attraction. Therefore, I can already say that there's nothing there. I can bring then, though, this paper. I can bring the paper close to the tape, and I see the tape move. I can bring this paper over here close to this tape, and I see the tape move. So I know something is going on, possibly with the tape, where the top tape was attracted to paper. The bottom tape was attracted to paper. So then I'm going to test again with foil. I'm going to test again with foil where I'm going to take the foil. No interaction with foil. There's no interaction with paper. So foil and foil, foil and paper, there's no forces there. That's good because, well, I don't expect there to be any forces there. But when I bring the foil to the tape, I do see there is an attraction. It gets brought to it. I'm trying not to have the tape and the foil touch because I don't want charge to transfer between conduction. So I'm going to again get my aluminum foil, and I see there's an attraction between the top tape as well. So now I see there's an attraction between top tape and the foil, top tape and the paper, bottom tape and the foil, bottom tape and the paper. So now I have removed my second piece. I'm going to now separate them. I'm going to split these two. When I split them, I'm going to have a top tape and a bottom tape.
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to see the top tape and top tape interaction. In other words, how do, what are they going to do? Are they going to push together or push apart? When I bring them close to one another, <sighs> when I bring them close to one another, top pushes, top, top pull paper, top pull foil, top pull bottom tape. So I see repulsion between top tape, top tape. I see in the, an attraction between top tape and paper. I see an attraction between top tape and foil. I see an attraction between top tape and bottom tape. So now I'm gonna bring in bottom tape. When I got the bottom tape, I wanna try the same thing. I'm gonna bring the bottom tape and this bottom tape is gonna be where we're gonna see what happens uh, here. So I see bottom tape and bottom tape, they push apart. They are repulsive to one another. I see bottom tape, foil, pull together. They are attractive. Bottom tape, paper, pull together. They are attractive. Bottom tape, top tape, they pull together. They are attractive. So we do see a bottom, bottom tape repulsion. Bottom foil attraction. Bottom paper attraction. And a bottom top attraction. So bringing it back to our lab, I want you to try to summarize the setup. So I want you to try to summarize the setup. Where recall, we had here the far left being a bottom tape, the far right being a top tape. We had a foil and a paper. The whole point of this was so that way we could have something that didn't have charge on it, like foil and paper. That doesn't have charge. And then we split something that had also didn't have charge. The bottom tape, top tape didn't have charge. They had a net charge of zero. When we split them, then we have one with a positive charge or a negative charge, and we have another with a positive charge or a negative charge. We don't know which one is which, but we do know that they are oppositely charged. And then we tested that the, um, if they're oppositely charged. So the way we were able to test uh, and test our guiding question, the guiding question was, is there force between two pieces of tape that are not touching? So the way we're able to get some data here was we then brought together another top tape and bottom tape, basically tapes that had opposite charges. So when we split the two tapes, it created one with a positive charge and one with a negative charge. So summarize the setup.
So once you get done summarizing the setup, let's open up the copy of the sticky data. So we just had our data, we viewed it, we analyzed it. I have here this sticky data. So I want you to click on the make a copy. So click on make a copy to make a copy of your sticky data. So once you're here, we're going to make two changes. We're going to make two changes. So one, I want to change this to a top and foil. And the second one is going to be a bottom and paper. So when we saw this, we saw an interaction. So when I brought the top paper or the top tape and the foil, there was an attraction between them. And when I saw this attraction, I can pictorially show it with this, where the top and the foil, there was a slight attraction to one another. I saw the same thing with the bottom and the paper as well. That bottom tape and the paper as well, they were getting pulled close to one another. When I saw the top tape and the top tape, that's where I saw a strong force. And I saw a strong repulsion. So I saw them pushing away from one another. Then I also saw with a bottom and bottom, the same thing where the bottom tape and the bottom tape pushed apart from one another. For the top and bottom, that's where I saw that big attraction. So they were really pulling close to one another. And so I was even just pulling from the stronger force, weaker force. And what I'm gonna to try to do now is I wanna to try to label. We don't know yet the positive or negative. We're gonna to get to this, uh, that next part tomorrow, which one is positive or negative, but we're gonna be able to say where the forces are. Cause I do need to label on here, my forces. I do know that I have some forces that are going to repel one another here on my tape. So this is just me getting started on my, on my data analysis. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to write out my data here and I'm gonna get my labels. Tomorrow, we're gonna decide where are the positive and where are the negative. Tomorrow, we're gonna be able to see, well, is this positive and is this positive? Or is this negative? And we're going to be able to decide 
what these are. We're gonna, we don't have that yet today, but we're going to be able to get to that part tomorrow. But you can fully label up the forces. So what we have to have done before we leave today is getting a start onto this Google drawing. So that way tomorrow we're going to be able to finish up this analysis and get started on the following day's work. Tomorrow, we're not taking all day to do this. Tomorrow, we're going to be getting more into this transfer charge. Tomorrow, we're going to be answering up these three questions relatively quickly, where it's going to be on a drawing scale, where we're talking about these charges actually leaving this top tape and bottom tape. And then we're going to draw in some kind of scale getting to the molecular level. What's going on here with these big atoms? So we're going to be thinking about how these charges actually left this tape and then what's going on inside of the tape to cause this effect, to cause this pulling, this repulsion, this attraction. So there should be, for us, what we need is to get the tape with the force arrows and the, the labels. So what you need. You need the forces decided. Labels for force. Once you have that, then you're good pretty much and ready to go for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna decide the tape and from that. So if you got lost on this data, if you got lost on what we were doing, I put in some videos here from Mr. Steinbach on how to get this data, how to collect it, how to analyze it. And so um, we have that here that we're gonna use uh, for tomorrow. On that note, I wanna say thank you. Please make sure you get to the uh, charge question number one. Please make sure you address that and answer that here today. On that note, I want to say thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.